So the uh, drone remote command center um, is built into a heavy duty uh, hard plastic case. And the idea behind this is that uh, you can basically view your live drone footage uh, wherever you are, even out in the field. So let's give you a guided tour and then we'll show you it in operation. So it's got two heavy duty uh, catches um, with a locking facility. And when we open it up, you'll see it's really, really well made. Um, so in the top there, we have a 15.3 uh, full HD screen built in. And in the control unit itself, we've got a master on off switch there, which powers everything. So you'll see the screen will come on in just a second. There we go. And um, here you have two USB outputs. So they're ideal for charging your drone uh, remote control. Um, you've got a 12 volt marine output for anything else. And here is the voltage meter. And here you have the HDMI input. So that'll accept any HDMI from any source. It could be a camera, it could be the drone, it could be a video player, anything at all. And whatever you put into there will obviously appear on the screen. Um, here we have a cold shoe attachment that's fitted and I'll explain that later on but that's really quite useful and just here we have the battery capacity and voltage meter so if we turn that on it shows you that the battery at the moment is 84% press it again and it shows we're getting 12.7 volts so inside the unit just mounted in here is a heavy duty dry cell battery fully rechargeable and that should give between six and eight hours use um, depending if you're using the usb sockets but uh, on the screen alone you should get around about eight hours and just here is the waterproof charging input so we undo that and you'll find you've got somewhere to plug in the charger so you can charge the battery in the unit and it comes with the a brand new charger there it's an intelligent charger so it's got thermo cutout and everything like that and voltage overload um, but basically that's got a plug on the end of it that goes into there and just charge it up simple as that so really quite a smart unit and um, very very useful if you're doing commercial operations and you want a, a client out in the field to see what you're shooting just give them this next sit anywhere they like and and, and watch you uh, with your live footage so let's plug it all in and uh, we'll show you how it works Okay, so what I've done here is I've got the DJI Smart Controller and on there you have a HDMI out. And the HDMI can be on any cable, uh, it doesn't matter how long it is, but it goes straight into the HDMI socket there. And when the unit's powered on, lo and behold, we have a duplication of your Smart Controller on the big screen. So now I can't fly the drone today because unfortunately we're in the middle of a big storm, but if I turn the drone on, So let's look at the smart controller. Okay, so there we go, it's found the Mavic 2. Okay, so there we go. So that's now got visual from the drone. And lo and behold, on our screen there, we have a duplication of the video. So imagine the drone's flying. And you've got the repeat on the screen. So this can be from, as, as I say, any HDMI source or any drone that's got HDMI output. Doesn't matter. Um, really, really high quality image there. And that's in full HD. Okay, so as I mentioned before, on here there's a cold shoe attachment and there's a good reason for that one. And basically uh, it enables us to use a, a wireless system. So when I'm flying this one, I use the Hollyland uh, 300, which basically gives me 300 feet of wireless transmission. So all I do is, um, difficult to do with one hand, but basically the cold shoe attachment goes on uh, like that. This is the receiver and then the HDMI, short HDMI cable goes into the HDMI socket and then obviously the transmitter is located near the drone controller. So basically what that gives me is uh, 300 feet of wireless transmission. So I could be flying 300 feet away from the remote center uh, where the client's viewing the screen. So yeah, really handy feature. 
and finally I'll just show you uh, the charging situation so when the battery gets low or when you get home on an evening um, we use this multi charger smart intelligent charger on the end it has a waterproof plug that literally goes into here